Today, I'm going to show you my two latest medieval build that I made for the 2024 Summer Joust. And I'm going to make use again of Force Perspective, which is a way to make your smaller mocks look much, much bigger. So this is not the first time I approach this. Uh, in the last year, Summer Joust, I built an interesting bridge duel mock. But also recently, if you follow the channel, you probably remember the build I made for the Rogue Olympics with the Hercules with the temples in the background and the mindfulness, uh, uh, very nice and peaceful build that I did not long ago. Uh, today we have a totally different setting. So here I have a half base plate with my first sort of Middle Eastern uh, kind of setting because the category that I'm submitting this mock for is the into Middle East into the Middle East uh, category. So here I have a small street with this character that is going to walk through this road and is going to have a sort of ambush. But before we talk about the details, let's talk a little bit about how this is built. Of course, the color scheme is tan, dark tan, orange, uh, medium nougat, these sort of colors with some sort of blue accent. We have a few characters on the side. Uh, you can see a couple of interesting cloth pieces. Of course, we have a few here in this barrel as a sort of uh, items on sale. We have a carpet over here in uh, Azure. And then this uh, sort of bunny ear uh, cloth piece that is held in place with this little structure over here. It's connected on top, so I can have it uh, dangling down right in the middle of the doorway. Uh, for the beginning of the first perspective i try to get these doors at the back a little bit smaller than one at the front you can clearly see here with these arches the first two arches are the same size while this one is slightly shorter again here i have a big archway sorry about that okay like that that one is smaller and that one even a little bit more smaller i'm making use of arch pieces of course over here this one is actually built sideways uh, in this build i'm using also some very interesting uh, printed parts that I think fit very well in this steel. I also have a uh, orange one that come from a uh, Azoka briquet and this is going to be this sort of banner on top of this building over here. Uh, all the sort of pieces that I could find in these colors work. For example, here I have a regular chair piece that I am using as a detail on the side of this building. Of course, we have Masory, we have profile bricks, and we have a lot of ingot pieces. I'm trying to make a good use as well of a different kind of snot bricks to create a little bit of additional details. I'm also using this new uh, one by two with the star in the center that you can find a lot of in the tiny plant set. I will put an Amazon link down below if you want to go and get it. Now, let's complete the scene. You can see here already I have uh, uh, this cloth piece that go and cover, create a sort of marker stall over there. I'm going to cover this up with this whole structure over here, this big plate. So this will let me to keep everything into place. So the cloth piece is not going to fall off. And over there we have a character in a sort of uh, Assassin's Creed kind of pose. Uh, of course, I need to make sure that the character cannot be seen from underneath. So I'm adding all these pieces on the side coming off. Actually, I think I should swap this one like so. And then I'm going to add the, another cloth piece on top. So we create a little bit of a darker scene underneath and the character over here is not able to see the one on top. Uh, you can see we have some danger over here as well. So uh, here I'm angling this sword piece and that character as well looking outside. So here we have the Desert Warrior minifigure, for which I haven't built an habitat yet, but we can see the sword a little bit peeking out there. And I have a little sword coming off a little bit next to the Snake Charmer over here. Uh, this is the Snake Charmer, a pretty interesting minifigure. I will put a link down below to Amazon US if you want to go and buy it. I already built a very interesting habitat for that one that I recommend you to check out. Initially, I was giving that uh, character a uh, Uka, a uh, Shisha, uh, but then I did some research and I realized that this was not probably there in Middle East, uh, sorry, in uh, medieval times. So I scrapped that and I give a, I think it's called uh, Old Guitar. Uh, this is from a Lunar New Year set, I think, but I think it fits quite well. 
Uh, I added some pottery all around. I use another turban like this one in white to create a plain piece over there. And now it's time for all the details. So I have this rock piece over here. On this side, I'm going to add a plan, a, a palm tree. This is actually not going to be uh, really seen in the scene. It's just going to be here on the background. Later, I will show you the final image. You probably will be able to see only this, uh, uh, the, the leaf or maybe a little bit of the trunk. I'm going to cover this up with a bigger uh, dark green bush uh, to hide a little bit the blocky part over there. And I'm using also this air piece as a rock and uh, common technique to use many times in my builds. Um, now we need to take care of the background. So the idea here is to have a force perspective. So I need to get this um, uh, in a micro scale so that from the front perspective it looks like it's far in the background. So we are using these printed bricks that are from uh, uh, Harry Potter. This is going to connect over here. And I'm using this big, uh, I think, shoulder piece from a, a buildable figure kind of thing connected there. If you look at this from the front, it look, look exactly like the dome. Uh, by the way, I also forget to add over here, I have another dome piece in uh, gold. Uh, from the lower perspective, you will not be able to see the structure underneath. And then I'm going to add two more towers at the back. One is very simple and straightforward, made with these round jumpers. And this will look like some small windows. And then we have a little bit of a golden ring on top. And then I have another simple structure here. It's a very weird structure, but the idea is to use these two uh, slope sort of pieces, again, from the tiny plants to make it look like a tower from far. And then I'm just going to top it with this uh, around and pieces that now are lost underneath the build. Let's see if I can recover it quickly for you. Before we move to the next build that I think is even more interesting than this one. So this is going to just sit on top of that. And this is the final result. Actually, I have one more minifigure here uh, that is going to just sit on the side over here so that I can have another sword piece coming out from around the corner. So now I'm going to show you the final result. Uh, of course, you need to work a little bit with the editing of the picture, get the right lighting, get the, the scene a little bit warmer. And I think the effect was pretty, pretty good. So again, very uh, pre pretty small build, but with the help of the force perspective, we make it look much, much bigger. Let's move it on the side and then let's bring in some colors. So uh, this is for a different category, which is festival of colors. So I have to build something, a medieval uh, castle theme. Uh, without using white, shades of gray, uh, trans clear, and black. So everything has to be colorful. What I did here is to use the netting technique, which you can pick a little bit of the net over here. So basically you take a net piece, you connect all the studs underneath and on the top, and then you have this very flexible structure. Uh, of course, you can see here I have all these colors. I'm not going to use those colors uh, later in my build, but I'm not all going to cover them up. Uh, you can see over here, actually, there's quite a bit of, a ga of gaps in between. Probably I should have mounted these uh, parts directly on the stud uh, just above the net so that the gaps are less visible. But it's my only second time using the technique that is pretty boring to set up, I have to say. Pretty tedious. Uh, but it worked quite well. Uh, some of these pieces are loose, uh, just sitting there. Uh, most of them are connected. I have a trunk coming off here, and sometimes I use all of these plants to just fill up the gaps uh, here and there. Uh, these trees will let me to frame the scene, and over here on this side, this one is actually tilted a little bit forward uh, with the help of that uh, inch brick over there. And then I'm going to add one more plant here so that I can cover a little bit the background over there. Uh, because the scene was a bit wider, I decided to add another trunk that is going to just connect inside there. And it's going to be like this. So again, the, fray, the picture is going to be a little bit lower and from the front side. Uh, I have a couple bit of more colorful pieces. So I have a mushroom over here. I have another mushroom over there. Let's see if I can reach without messing up the scene too much. Just give me a moment. So this is going to be connecting like that and going into the 
gap. Of course, if you follow the channel, you know that the things never work in the right way when I'm filming, but uh, here I do everything kind of life. Anyway, there's a mushroom there, later we'll show the final picture. I have a character. Initially, I added a frog over there, but here I decided to add the bar, the troubadour minifigure uh, from series 22 or 23. Pretty cool minifigure there playing, looking at the background. I have a little branch coming off there with a blue bird. You can see better from this perspective. And then I had another uh, animal. I had a bunny uh, to add over here, looking at the horizon again. And I also use again this uh, um, arm from the Hulk uh, that I use many times as a rock in this sort of nature building things. Uh, and I think it looked quite well. Now I need to build a micro scale castle to put at the back there. Very simple, very straightforward. This is the little structure I created. Dark 10 here. I think this looks a little bit like in micro scale a path leading towards the entrance of this castle that is made with this piece uh, upside down. It's not connected, but it will be uh, because on top we are going to add many different things. So I created many different towers uh, in Tan and I'm going to have also uh, all these uh, roofs, mostly rounded roofs in uh, red to create a nice, interesting contrast to this build. Gonna have, an, gonna have another tower over there. And here I'm also using this uh, sort of uh, Lego games uh, figure coming off on the side here to create even more interesting details. Now you can see I have some structures on the side. So I'm actually inching these two sides to create an even more interesting shape. And I have a waterfall coming off there with a few pieces of greenery as well. And I also have another waterfall. You can see here how it works. Basically, it's connected sideways over there. I just need to add the round piece over there to make the slope going down. And I need to fill up that gap. Here I brick build it. On this side, I decide to use an upside down slope and just wedge it into there. And then I just need to push it in to make sure it stays in place. This is going to be far in the background. And then in the moment that you bring in the previous build, this is going to be perfectly framed in the background behind the bar. Very interesting build. Now here is the final result, the final picture. Uh, I actually took different format, but I think this square one is uh, the better one. Let me know what you think about this build. Uh, if you uh, want to be a channel member, especially my Dreamers member, my second tier, they had a video with all the background scene uh, on how this was all built. There was some issue with the Google with my membership, but hopefully by the time I publish this video it will be fixed or maybe it might take another one day or two, but then the membership will be on again uh, regularly. Uh, if you want to watch some more of this Force Perspective build, I recommend you to go and check out the one uh, with the Rogue Olympics build, the Mindfulness and the Hercules. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.